Welcome viewers. And today I'm doing a dramatic reading. Now this isn't your normal typical dramatic reading. Today I'll be doing a dramatic reading from AI Dungeon. If you don't know what AI Dungeon is, AI Dungeon is basically a game where you can choose from a different variety of sources. Fantasy, apocalyptic, zombies, whatever. I'm sure you've seen it on YouTube before. There was also, but there was one option that got me interested, is the custom option, where you force yourself to write up your own story and the scenario happens for you. So I took it upon myself to do that. What you are about to hear has been completely unaltered and was completely written by AI, with my inputs here and there. This is The Small Room, written by Wincy209. That's me. An AI dungeon. You wake up in a small white room. You look around and you see that you are not alone. To your right is a semi anthro female dog. To your left is an Italian man with overalls. In front of you is a guy with a cup forehead. You then talk to them. Told them that your name is Bob and ask them what your name is all. The dog is named Isabel. The entire man is named Mario. And the guy with the cup of hair is named Cuphead. You then try to find a way out of the small white room. What do you want, you ask? I thought we were having fun, you answer. Yeah, well, I'm having more fun than you are, Cuphead says. You find a door. Well, Mario and Isabel, what do you want to do now? I don't know, Cuphead, Isabel says. What do you want to do? You say, I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here, you say. Well, I guess we just sit here and do nothing and we can play a game. A game? You grab Isabel by one of her ears and drag her to the door and open it. You grab Isabel and pull her to the door. What are you doing? Please let me go, she yells. You look at her and let her go. You say, Come on, the door is right there. Do you want to leave this room or not? As they falls to the ground, her, she grabs her left arm and looks at it. I'm sorry. Are you okay? I really, really want to get out of this room. I want to get out of here, you say. I, I can't really move my arm or legs, he says. I feel really weak. You pick up Isabel and walk to the door, telling Mario and Cuphead to follow you. You pick up is you pick Isabel up, and Mario and Cuphead follow you out to the room. This is just so sickly, Isabel says. Outside is a bigger room with a hole on the ceiling. How do we get out of here? Mario asks. I have no idea, you say. Let's just try flying through the hole. You say, but the hole is on the ceiling and we can't get up there. We have no choice, you say. Cuphead and Mario both are green. You and Cuphead... Who? Mario and Cuphead are jump to... Through the hole, but it's impossible. There's just no way. A robot voice comes on the speaker saying, Welcome to your first test. The lights flash on, and you are taken into the room with several doors with a giant video screen in the middle. You look to see if Mario and Cuphead and Isabel are okay. You walk over to Mario, Isabel, and Cuphead and open the door. We have to enter a code, a robot voice says. What is it? 1345465432. You type in 1345765432. The big screen shows a big A and the door opens. Great job, the robot voice says. Now I want you to find any bugs in this room and kill them. You go tell Cuphead to do it because you're scared of bugs. Are you sore? Cuphead asks. Yeah, sore. You reply. You look at Isabel to check up on her to see if she is better while Cuphead looks for bugs to kill. Isabel sits down and puts her head between her knees. Are you alright? You ask. She looks up and excels. Yeah, she replies. You hug Isabel. You put your arms around her and hug her tightly. I don't want to die, she says. 
Don't say that, he replied. What do I do without you? You hear Cuphead scream and tail behind you. You turn around, Cuphead is gone. Cuphead! You scream. Oh, look at the time, Mario says. I have to go. So soon? You say, where are you even going to go? We're trapped in here and we can't leave until we kill all the bugs. I have no idea, Mario says. Good luck, you'll need it. Thanks, you say. I have to go, Mario says. My mom is calling me. A giant bug goes up behind him and kills him. You and Isabel scream. Then you see the door shut. Huh, weird, you say. Let's get out of here, Cuphead says. I can't take any more. You said, Cuphead, you're back? I thought you died. I'm bug, but you have to kill these bugs. You look out of the door, and Cuphead and Isabel follow. Now, where are these bugs? You look for bugs to kill, and tell Isabel and Cuphead to look for bugs to kill, too. They're all over the ceiling, Cuphead says. You look up, and Cuphead is right. I can't see anything, you say. Just kill them with your flames. You say, what flames? I don't have superpowers, dumbass. You begin to angrily kick Cuphead, but he does nothing to defend himself. I can't find anything either, Cuphead says. That door doesn't look very promising, though. You say, that's it. I have enough of your shit, Cuphead. You turn around and start to run, but Cuphead pulls you back. Hey, calm down, Cuphead says. Look, there's two buttons here. Press them both. You push the buttons. And... The giant bug barrier lowers. Quick, run through it before it rises again, Cuphead says. You, Isabel, and Cuphead run through the bug barrier, and you all end up in a swimming pool. Why are we in a swimming pool, you ask? It was the only place big enough to rise the barrier, Cuphead says. Now what? Now we swim. You swim through the swimming pool. Get out of the swimming pool. And then help Cuphead and Isabel out of the swimming pool. Good. Now listen. There are several buttons around the pool. Press them in this order. 2, 3, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You press the buttons in that order. Excellent, Cuphead says. Now we just wait. We stand around the swimming pool. And are you told what? You have no idea. Hey, let's drain the pool. You say, no, I'm just going to talk to Isabel, okay? Do what you, do what you want. I'm going to find Cuphead as a girlfriend. Why do you care? We don't like girls. I don't like any girl. Yug, Isabel, and kiss her. Isabel is really surprised by this, but not displeased. I'm glad you're happy, she says. The robot voice comes back on, saying, Okay, time for your next test. The three of you look around for the buttons, but they're hidden all over the place. We need a map, Cuphead says, but those are hard to make in the real world. You say, I don't know how to make a map.